One Spider-Man per movie not enough for you? Well, get ready to swing into action and meet an infinite number of Spider-Men, Spider-Women and pretty much Spider-Anythings in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I'm Captain Starlight and welcome to another kids movie review. Hit that like and subscribe button right now for the freshest of fun with Captain Starlight content three times a week. Plus, check out heaps of our other movie reviews in the link below. The multiverse is all the rage in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now, but we reckon no film has done it better than the genre-bending multi-animation mashup masterpiece that was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, a film that introduced us to other Spider-Men other than the original Peter Parker. And our Spidey variant from the first movie, Miles Morales, is back in action. My name is Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man, and things are going great. Oh yeah, you were supposed to be here at five. All right, whatever. Whatever? Wow. Whatever? He even meets Spot. Hello, Spot. Spot, hello. No, not that Spot. So are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? I am the Spot. <laughs> That's not funny. Don't, don't do that. And this time, he's not alone. He teams up yet again with Gwen Stacy, aka Spider-Woman, to travel across the multiverse to stop the evil forces that threaten their reality. Along the way, they meet many different versions of Spider-Man, including the cool, but slightly grumpy, Spider-Man 2099. You can never be part of this. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999-99. Come on, go easy on the kid. He had a terrible teacher. Peter! Miles! You have a baby? I have a baby. I'll take it from here. But I know what you're thinking. Wait, Captain Starlight, you haven't told us who the big villain is. To tell you that might spoil the surprise, so you'll have to swing into cinemas to find out. Once again, the animation in this film is simply stunning, with vibrant and different styles of animation that transport you to the different dimensions. The characters are just as likeable as they were in the first film, with Miles and Gwen's friendship shining through the most. Parents, this one is big, loud and flashy and has a lot of cartoon action action and violence, so this one's definitely for older Avengers. Fun facts, did you know that Oscar Isaacs voices Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099 in the film? You might know him better as Poe Dameron in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Also, this film is just the first part of a two-part story, with a second installment set to release in 2024. If you're a fan of the first Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie, you'll definitely love this one. This film takes everything that was great about the first one and cranks it up to 11, with even more Spider-People and mind-bending action scenes. Our Captain Starlight Rocket rating gives Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse a swinging 5 out of 5. But before you sling away, remember to like and subscribe for more of our great content. I've been Captain Starlight, and this has been another Kids Movie Review.